So you want to learn how you can use Bricks Builder without spending any dime? Well, I do understand that. Because if we look at the pricing, we see that the pricing is pretty steep, right? One website for $79, uh, three websites for $149, unlimited websites for $249, and you have a lifetime deal. You pay once, $599, and then you're done. Comparing to Elementor, which has a free plugin for you to use. But there are some limitations. You don't have all the features. And if we look at the pricing for Elementor, you see that for 59 euros, you get one website, but you're missing some kind of features. If we look at 99 euros, you can support up to three websites and they have everything you need. So this is the basic one that you need, but you can use it for three websites and for three websites on Bricks Builder, you pay 149. However, if we upgrade to the unlimited version, uh, you have up to 1000 websites and for Bricks Builder, you have unlimited websites for 249 and for 399. Now you don't have the option to purchase just once to pay 599 once and then you're done. So that's something you could consider why you should choose Bricks Builder if you're looking into the pricing. But that's not why here you want to know how you can use Bricks Builder without spending any dime. So let's get to that. There's a link down in the description below that points you to the right place. And when you go there, you can create a free Bricks Playground account. What this is, is a way for you to experiment and experience Bricks Builder. So you just fill in your email address, you create an account, and then a email will be sent to your e email box. And there is Bricks Builder in your inbox. When you click on it, you have a link and when you click on there, you can set a password. And I use Keeper to manage my passwords because I always forget them. I have a lot of passwords for a lot of different websites and uh, that's one thing I can recommend instead of reusing all the passwords on all the websites at the same time, which is a security risk, I recommend using something like Keeper. Now inside your playground, we paste in the password and here you have access to your playground. You see that Bricks is installed, you can get started with Bricks. And here's the getting started, so everything for the basics you need. You can access your templates, which are the templates just like an Elementor for your header or for your archive pages or your single pages. You can have access to all the settings. Well, almost all the settings because the SVGs are disabled and also the code execution is disabled. So then you need to purchase bricks, but for ex just experimenting and experiencing bricks, it's fine. Then you can go to custom funds to install your funds and sidebars. I never use that, but here you can create sidebars. Now go, let's go to the settings real quick because there are some changes that I love to do. I will enable posts because I also want to use Bricks Builder in posts. This is for Gutenberg if you want to if you want to load Gutenberg data into your Bricks Builder or save the Bricks Builder data into the Gutenberg. Here are some various options you can enable and disable. I never do such a thing. Uh, except for the safe form submissions and database so that I at least have a backup of the form submissions. Then for builder access, I leave it as is. For templates, we can choose to make template screenshots, which so makes it very visible. If we save a template, which are available there, a template should have a thumbnail column and those are all the basics. Then for the builder itself, I would love to change uh, what will happen when I press the logo. I always love to go back into the WordPress editor so I changed this one in uh, edit in WordPress. I love to be able in the structure panel to du duplicate and delete certain sections. I love to expand active element and sync global classes that if you're working with different people, you can see the classes changing for everybody that's using it. In performance, I leave this as is. It can be optimized at a certain point, but I don't, I wouldn't worry about that right now. You have maintenance mode. Some API keys if you're using on Splash or Adobe Fonts for your fonts. Uh, you can set up all right here to test it out. And then you hit save settings. But for me, the most important thing is of course Bricks Builder. So we will adding a new page. We close this pop up to use Gutenberg. Let's call this home page for instance. Home up page is also very good. And we press edit with Bricks Builder. And here you have your Bricks Builder interface. You can add all kinds of things in there and on the right side you have your structure where you can see everything that's on your 
website. So this is how you can use Bricks Builder for free. If you want to learn how to get started with Bricks Builder, I would suggest looking into that video. Or you can just play around with Bricks Builder. That's the thing that I love to do. Now, if you liked this kind of video, please hit the thumbs up so I know I need to create more of these kinds of videos. And subscribe. I will see you on the next one. Keep designing.